Welcome to IT Pro Guide, Mohamed Niaz with you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure a send connector in an exchange server running in an Azure VM to send email to external recipients. When you configure an exchange server in an Azure VM, you might end up with an error while configuring send connector because Azure VMs are not allowed to make communication over port 25 outbound communication. You can receive email, no problem for that. But when you configure your send connector to send email to external recipients, that will not work. So this video is a solution for you to fix your issue with exchange servers running in an Azure VM. Before we move to the topic, I would like to introduce you to the new two courses that launched in Udemy. First one is Learn Microsoft Exchange Server covers all the topics that comes in a single exchange server deployment and also hybrid exchange setup. And later I will add Microsoft Exchange Server migration, high availability and site resiliency also. And the second one is Microsoft Identity and Services MS100. So this course cover all the topics that related to MS100 exam preparation. The basic reason that you are not able to send email from your Exchange Server installed in an Azure VM is Azure VM doesn't allow outbound communication over port 25. You can receive email, inbound communications are allowed, but outbound communications are not allowed. But the email recipients like Gmail or Yahoo or Outlook, they receive email over port 25. So you need a mechanism to communicate over port 25, but your exchange server doesn't allow. So what you can do is you can subscribe to a smart host and you can communicate with the smart host over 587 port or 2525 port then your smart host will deliver the email to yahoo or gmail for your recipients so what we're going to do is we're going to configure a smart host then we will configure a send connector and also we will change the port that the default port is 25 so we will change the port to 587 or any other port that the smart host support so let's begin our demo the first step we're going to do is we are going to create an account in a send in blue send in blue is going to be our smart host for this demo so i'm going to create a new account with a send in blue once i complete the account creation i have to validate my mobile number then once i'm in the next step is to continue with a free plan if you are doing this for your production environment then you can choose one of the following plan but this is for a demo purpose so i would like to go with the continue with a free plan then once i'm in the next step is to add my domain name my business identity that is m365proguide.com then you have to add all the records including spf and uh, dkim so once you verified the domain the next step is to add all these records to your dns manager in my case it is godaddy so i copy all these records one by one and add this into my godaddy dns manager once you completed with all the records then you can go and verify it from the send in blue so you can see that I click on the place verify it button and it show me all configured. After that I can click on I'm done and that will show me that my domain name is authenticated which means my account is completely verified. The next step is to create a SMTP password for that click on the SMTP and API then click on the create a new SMTP key then give a meaningful name and that will generate a SMTP key you have to copy it and not it somewhere because you cannot copy it again and you can see the SMTP server address and login details and port address you have to make a note of all these details then open your exchange server admin center then create a new send connector so here I'm going to create a send connector and the purpose is internet means sending email over the internet. So create a connector with a meaningful name. So I'm going to give send in blue. Then click on the next button. Then this is going to be a smart host. So route through smart host. Then add the address of smart host. 
it was displayed on the key generation page so you can copy the SMTP address and paste it here then click next next is basic authentication then enter the username the username I used to create my send in blue account is nas for you at gmail.com so I gave it here then my password it is the key I just generated this send connector is to send email to everyone so I just put a wildcard in the domain then I have to select my exchange server then click finish so that will complete the creation of a send connector the next step is to change the default port because this send connector will try to send email over the port uh, 25 so I want to change the send connector port from 25 to 587 so that even Azure blocked outbound port 25 I can send email to the smart host and smart host will deliver the email to the recipient in order to list out all the send connector you can type get send connector here then our send connector is sent in blue so we are going to change the port for this send connector so set send connector then the identity then the identity means the name of the send connector after that hyphen port then enter the new port now we have changed the port to 587 the next step is to restart the services if you look at my queue viewer you can see that some emails are there in the queue because i try to send some email before i change uh, to the port 587 so those emails are stuck in the queue viewer as we change the port now we just need to restart the mailbox transport services then all the emails will be disappeared from the queue so let's do that the mailbox transport service then click on the restart button now if you refresh you can see that the message count has reduced from 5 to 2 and if you open it uh, it disappeared which mean all the messages which were in the queue has been delivered our send connector configuration was successful so that is all thank you for watching this video for more videos subscribe my youtube channel